All right, let's talk about uh, anatomy books to augment your anatomy uh, training. So for my students, these will be two of the, uh, the backbones, no pun intended, of our anatomical series and for training. Those of you out there in YouTube land, these are also wonderful for you to get to. They should be part of your library, and they are part of our library here at the University at NKU. So we have two books in front of us. Um, the first book is Artistic Anatomy by Do Dr. Paul Roche and also edited by Robert Beverly Hale. And you're going to hear his name pop up a lot if you investigate anatomy further. He is kind of the, the godfather of modern anatomy uh, training. He taught the Art Students League for a number of years and he is kind of the foremost um, lecturer and um, draftsman of uh, anatomy, kind of where we, we all get our start from. And some of those were videoed uh, or, or filmed quite a bit of time ago, and they're available also for a pretty high fee. But Robert Beverly Hale uh, and Dr. Paul Roche, Artistic Anatomy, and that's the first one. The second one is Anatomy Lessons from the Great Masters, and that is written by Robert Beverly Hale with the help of a few of his uh, former students. So uh, I want to go into deeper into the books. I'll put the uh, Artistic Anatomy book to the side, and then we'll come back and look inside of it a little bit later on. So Anatomy Lessons from the Great Masters. We have it here at the university, but you'll want to get your own copies, certainly from uh, our students here. And um, this is my copy from the library that I keep. And I just want to go through that. It is a copious, wonderful book uh, on anatomy. And what makes it interesting is that Robert Beverly Hale uses uh, art references, master drawing references. That's a better way to say it, just art references. So master drawing references to lecture on the finer points of anatomy. He breaks down the content into the rib cage, the pelvis, the knee, the foot, the shoulder, the arm, just pretty much like I do in the hand, the neck, and the head, anatomical reference plates. There's an introduction, of course, and then we jump into the, the actual lesson. And so what I think is so wonderful about this, and I'm just going to talk as I go through a little bit, is you'll see he'll have an image of a master drawing, a diagram of it to the left, and then he'll have reference points on the diagram to correspond to areas onto the drawing that talk about, in this case, the rib cage, etc. So you can see it on the drawing, and you can see it on the diagram and understand where all these anatomical references are happening onto the model. So Raphael, Rubens, Pontormo, uh, Buonarroti, Michelangelo, Buonarroti, Battista, uh, Giovanni Battista. Uh, and many more artists are used in this exploration of study. So the way I would handle this book and the way I want my students to handle it is that in addition to drawing with me and drawing from active diagrams and diagrams and then working on your own drawings is to have this book available. Read it. Read the, the description of the uh, drawing of the relevant points that um, Dr. Beverly Hill is talking about, and then actually from time to time draw from these traits, plates, draw from Durer, draw from the pelvis and the thigh of Piombo, Sebastiani Piombo, or a Rubens, and as you're drawing, uh, analyze and refer back to the diagrammatic points. We'll go through a section in videos where I'll actually do master studies and show you uh, some ways uh, to use master drawing of your approach. If you buy the book, you can use these poses uh, too as uh, ways to learn about the figure, not only for anatomy, but for everything. Rhythm, gesture, movement, volume, proportion, scale, value, light, all of it. There is good a teacher, if really not better than the live model. And the reason why training at their time was done from not the live model always, but by master drawings, master paintings, understanding the craft 
from the distilled level of having the artwork done already, not only to inculcate style and composition, but all the master training, but also because just didn't have, um, you can't put a young child, uh, an apprentice in front of a, a new model yet. And quite frankly, it's easier to distill these, these expressions and these, these anatomical figure drawing reference points before we get into a live model. Rubens wrote about that. Um, idea about not training from the live model, training from master drawings, and, and etc. So, uh, even better than photo reference, which we have today. You know, using Jericho for adductor, for thigh muscles, the rectus femoris, the uh, tensor fascia lata, and, and up through the rib cage. So, I hope you find this book to be as wonderful as I did when I was a student, and very, very uh, influential in. My lectures on anatomy, in my training on anatomy, when I was at Art Center, I had Bern Hogarth, and I had a little bit of Glenn Vilpu and Steve Houston as well. All of them are absolutely uh, wonderful instructors. But Robert Beverly Hale, he is kind of our god, the godfather of the, the modern era. Now, of course, they had anatomy, anatomy training uh, at every stage of our artistic, Western artistic development. Uh, 20th century, 19th, 18th, and, and so on down the line. But here is wonderful connection, the, the, this wonderful symbiosis between the plate image of a Rembrandt etching, the diagram, and then finding those relevant points not only on the thigh but also on the, the lower leg of the calf and down the, down the soleus, the gastrocnemius, uh, Pierre Paul Proudhon. I remember doing copies of this when I was a student. Back in, back in the day and uh, at Air uh, Art Center, College of Design. So, this is Robert Beverly Hale's wonderful book, and I'll kind of just flip through it really quickly so you can see the rest of it. And if you can go through and do all these master studies and diagrams, and you really are a champion. So you can find this on Amazon. I suggest you do that. And you can find it in paperback. This is a hardback cover because it's here at the university. And you'll find that it is... Um, just as wonderful, hopefully, as it as it looks to you uh, here as well. Okay, so again, that book is Anatomy Lessons from the Great Masters. Now let's go on and check out the other book, Artistic Anatomy, by talk, Dr. Paul Roche, and I'll show you why it's also important. So Artistic Anatomy, the great French classic on artistic anatomy, available for the first time in paperback. Well, that's been out for a good long while. So Dr. Paul Roche, Professor of Anatomy at uh, the École des Beaux-Arts in um, the Academy of Medicine in uh, Paris. And then, of course, Robert Beverly Hale, Instructor of Drawing and Lecture on Anatomy at the Art Students League in Columbia uh, as well, Columbia University. And he also worked for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So a wonderful art historian, lecturer, and an artist. Uh, in his own right. So you can see we have it here at school, but you'll want to get a copy, those of you that are in YouTube land and out beyond. And so what you'll find here is a more scientific, diagrammatic approach, and I use this to, to when I was a student, to take notes from, sometimes good, sometimes bad, when I find out that I got something wrong, um, but that happens as a student. And he'll break it down into the bone structure, muscle structure, and in each particular area of the human figure like you'll find in Robert Beverly Hill's Anatomy Lessons from the Great uh, Masters. Also, just realize I don't get any monetary kickback from Amazon or these, these companies or the people that benefit from the purchase of these books. These books are promoted by, by me because they're fantastic educational uh, material. So there's a lot of writing in here, but there's a lot of diagramming, uh, diagrammatic structural components too as well, which you'll probably get even more use from than just than just the writing. I don't think I've ever sat down and read all the writing through, although maybe I should. But you get a lot of good ideas on proportion, scale, and uh, ideas on the uh, proclivities of the human figure. You know, this is something I've used. This this drawing is is based on. These drawings I've used in my own videos and just changed it for my, my own particular needs. But proportion, forms of the trunk, let's go through this a little bit further so you'll see it. And why it's important as well. So you'll get a little bit of the idea of 
the plates here, a little bit of discussion on Leonardo, buttock changes, movement changes, position changes, and then we get into plates on the actual parts. Now, these are interesting in that they're diagrammatic and they break down the bone structure. Um, they don't simplify the bones, and that's why we want to teach it, um, have an artist uh, guide you through so we can find simplifications for a lot of these bones, spine, etc., and so on. So it's all there in front of you, and then your job is to distill it and then be able to learn in its three dimensional simplified forms and then make it to complex again. You know, you only get really a posterior, a lateral, and anterior view, but quite frankly, we need more dynamic you know, poses, and that's why we, we draw rib cage, clavicle, scapula, pelvis, all of these things we're beginning to talk about and look at. So the naming of them, the diagram, diagramming of them, where they're located, how they're located, all of this is particularly important. The humerus, the ulna, the radius, the hand, I think you get the idea even further. So this gives you the terminology and the language and the, quite frankly, the what is there and what's important about artistic anatomy because what we learn as artists is limited mercifully and so that we do not have to learn everything about the pancreas or the liver or the endocrine system. What's going on with the gallbladder? Um, please don't put yourself through that unless you're, you're a doctor and you, you study that particular internal area, the leg. So again, I think you get the idea how important this is. So after bones, then comes the importance of the beautiful diag the platelets on beginning with muscles and the relevant muscles for artistic anatomy. So remember, there's, there's quite a bit of simplifying of the amount of information that we need mercifully. It seems like a lot, but it's quite actually quite reduced and quite limited, thankfully. Otherwise, we'd probably all, all drive ourselves nuts and we probably wouldn't want to, to uh, study anymore. All right, so I think you get the idea. I'll flip through it to get the finished part of it just to let you see that. So I highly suggest if you've got the energy and the, the uh, interest in the time uh, is to investigate further these two books and use them in addition to your studies. Now, I get a lot of questions on how to study anatomy, how to practice anatomy. Well, I think hopefully what you're learning, and I'm still working on the videos at this point, so when we see this video in posterity some years from now, it will be completely, completed. Um, but the way to do that is constantly practice from time to time. Learn areas specifically within different, different areas. Head, you know, right, break down the head, break down the shoulder girdle, the rib cage, and go back from time to time and re-familiarize yourself with those particular areas, their names, etc. That's what I've done for this series when I learned it as a student and somewhat mastered it and then refined it over time. And then I had to, of course, relearn some of the names. Not all of them, but some of the names escaped me. The forms didn't. I remembered the forms through practice. And it really is about practice. Use it. Draw it from the live model. Draw anatomy from your imagination. Draw diagrams, active diagrams. Draw from art history. Art history references. Draw from photo references. And put all of that knowledge together to help you memorize um, everything that is going on. Okay, so I'm doing a lot of this. I'm moving my jaw too much now. I think we're ready to be finished. Those are the two wonderful books. It's The Anatomy Lessons from uh, The Great Masters by Robert Beverly Hale, and it's The Artistic Anatomy Right Together from Dr. Paul Roche, and then translated in, uh, from French to English by Rob, the wonderful Robert Beverly Hale, who has not been with us for a good while now, but he is... Again, a name you should look up and, and at least know about um, because he will pop up a lot in his um, the, being the godfather, really, of, of anatomical drawing instruction as well. He is kind of that, he, he really got me interested in anatomy, but all artists should know that they're going to, especially if they're going to work figuratively, figuratively for the most part, and representational with the figure as well. Uh, I think uh, he is. 
he is clearly the our godfather there. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks for watching this one, and I hope you use these books and find them handy. And remember, I don't receive any kickbacks, okay? So I just want to let you know on that. You guys take care out there, and I'll see you soon. Um, keep on drawing. Bye-bye.